Hey, we're Kaser, and welcome back to the 2021 Halloween update. We've got the Springfield Mall here. I don't believe this is actually available in the Yopic Mystery Box, but it has come back many times in the past. I want to say it was Christmas 2013? I don't think it was 2012. This is a very strong hint as to the premium character that I'm about to get. It is going to be... Where is it? Oh, it's a guild here. That's what it was. I wasn't thinking. The over under beast with the rats court mall. 150 donuts. Standard price, which is pretty interesting. Normally, guild deals are a lot more expensive. Usually, like 200 or more. I don't know if I'm going to be able to place it here. Maybe if I remove some of the parking lots. Give me a second. Can I place it here? No, I can't. So I'll have to move it here instead. For now, anyway. Uh, definitely not going to go that way. Alright, we'll do that. Like we said in the 80s, that picture was totally rad, dude. Heads up! I'd like to go back there now, as life in present day sort of sucks for old Gil. Can Gil watch a wind fill for ya, please? No. Kaboom! Yay, it's not Flanders! Rawr! Over under beast. And of course, massive spoilers if you don't know by now. I'm scrolling very slowly so you can see. And of course, not all these are characters. I see you over under beast. Well, this is the rat court mall. I wonder if all those weird bars are going to light up. You see all those weird pink bars that are lined up all across the top there? Maybe those are glow? I get a feeling that the rat court mall sign will light up for sure. Obviously, just thinking back from the episode. Before the sound, are there actual rats in here? Could it sound like rats when I tap it? Maybe. Or is it going to sound like the over-under character, the, the monster? Let's just go with the rats, shall we? Shall we rats? Making sure the 80s are never forgotten. Yeah, so this is a recycled sound, and there are some rats at the end of it. So it's possible they just took some rat sounds and threw it at the end of our current clip. Anyway, let's see if this beast has some sort of sound. I know they go and talk and stuff in the episode, but I don't know if they're voiced by any of the main cast members. We will find out in three, two, one. I guess so. Chief Wiggum, there's a monster from another dimension at the mall trying to eat us. When there's a perfectly good food court to eat at, let's roll, boys. You taking this monster thing seriously, Chief? Maybe you're right, Lou. This could just end up being a wild goose chase where I end up looking like an idiot. Rawr! Eddie, Lou, help! Shield the idiot! Wow, there's a lot of people. Wiggum, Lou, Eddie, and Over Underbeast get arrested by Lou. Oh, it keeps going. Lisa and Bart as well. Respect the beast. Yeah, Darn, I handcuffed myself to myself again. Hang on, Chief, we'll unlock you. Then you can help us battle this monster. Grrr! On second thought, you take care of the monster and I'll stay locked up here. The monster just swallowed Eddie. Eddie's a coward, a chewed up coward. You have to handle it yourself, Lou. I don't like where this is headed. And is that your testimony, Chief Wiggum, that the defendant ate one of your officers? That's right, Judge. If I hadn't acted quickly, there's no telling who else the defendant could have not to. Chief Wiggum, isn't it true that you were sidelined by your own handcuffs while your partners did all the police work themselves? That's a very rude and truthful way to put it. I've heard enough. Six months' probation will suffice for this over and beast. Rawr! Try to eat the judge! Looks like he didn't appreciate the ruling. And then Judge Snyder and Wiggum, well, they're pretty much screwed. I'm gonna get hell out of here. On second thought, let's go with six months of anger management therapy. But Judge, that thing just tried to eat you. Eh, not the first defendant to try that this week. He has a very, very unpredictable job. Glare! 
Yes, yes, you're very scared and very angry. But try to express positive emotions or I will stop listening. Blurg. Are you crying? Crying. I love when patients cry. It tells me we're close to a breakthrough. Express positive emotions. All right, can we get our first animation? <laughs> first animation. Express positive emotions. Not sure I saw that coming. But let's see how this pans out, shall we? Oh, he's crying. Now he's in love. So the poor thing cries. And it gets really, really happy. And in love. And I think that's probably both of them. Oh, he's, yeah, I think he was laughing. He's also laughing. So laughing, love, tears of joy. Growl roar. We're making good progress here, beast. My dream of a book deal and an appearance on the Opal Show might finally come true. Grar. Okay, but if we get on the show, lose the foul language. What is happening? Opal Show? <laughs> and now, the Opal Show welcomes our next guest, Marvin Monroe and his miracle patient, the Over Under Beast. Thank you, Opal. Rawr! Beast, I'm proud to present you with the Opal Show Award for promoting mental health. Grom? What is he doing? Why is he stalking my assistant? Why is he eating my assistants? I'm so very sorry. Why does my show make every guest hungry? So it looks like Over Under Beast is going to maybe have a change of heart? Feeling embarrassed, it's possible. And then everybody else is just going to try and uh, replace what was lost. Deep cleansing breath. I told you to make it through the segment without eating anyone. I know assistants aren't anyone's, but still. Growl for Don't worry, Beast. You're not the first to devour an assistant. Whispers. Kanye. All right, so how's this gonna end up? Beast, we come to the end of our therapy sessions. You've done well, and you're ready to handle the world. Rawr! No, 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 remember what we talked about. You can't eat people. Growl? Yes, you're allowed to eat anything non-people. Just don't eat dogs. People love dogs. So it looks like we're gonna get our second and final animation. Eat everything that's not people. <laughs> and it's a 24 hour quest. Oh boy. I have a bad feeling about this one. Let's hope it's not too brutal. Alright, off to a good start. A sign, garbage. Oh, raccoon! Oh, okay. I thought they were going to eat the raccoon. They're not. But of course, we get those Christmas raccoons, which seems to pop up every episode now. Oh, sorry, every update. Oh, we got a, we got a turkey! Just in time for Thanksgiving! I don't know why I didn't want the turkey. Although Thanksgiving in Canada is already over. Not in America, though. I think it's in November, right? So yeah, that is the full walkthrough for the Over Under Beast. Now, I'm not quite done yet. I have to figure out who, probably the Over Under Beast, can go to the Rats Court Mall. So let me just see if I can figure that out. And I will be back. <laughs> Obviously, I store them, but let's see if we can figure this out. Try to eat the judge. Sausage giant teeth. Creep around the mall. I think that's probably going to be it. So I do think that the Rats Court Mall sign will light up. I think it said it's in the beginning, but there's those three bars that are lined up all the way across. Maybe those will light up also. And of course, the lights will turn on as well. Where did he go? He was here a second ago. There he is. Let's see how close I am or not. Show me, show me everything. 
So I was correct about absolutely everything, except for the animation with the rats. Those bars light up, the sign lights up, and the lights turn on. So I was three or four. This is a really great animation. Really, really great animation. With the walkthrough complete, let me know down below what you think of the Over Under Beast. They do have a voice, kind of anyway. They growl. Both animations are pretty decent. And of course, this particular mall here, this building, is fantastic also. So for a guild deal, I guess it is a steal. But overall, in general, it's not really saving much of anything. If it was like 120 or something, yeah, for sure you'd be saving a little bit of donuts. But at least it's not like 200 or 250 or even higher than that. So if you are on the fence about it, you do have the entire update to make up your mind. Hopefully this video is helpful in any way. And I will see you with more guild deals in the future and more premium characters in the future. So thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody!